What is the best client for Hive Soul Skyblock? Picking from the list of Bad Lion, Sky Client, Lunar Client, Feather Client, Forge with Essentials, and Optifine. These are all of the biggest clients that I've seen my audience using, and we're going to be looking at them today. Which ones are the best? Which one gives the best FPS boost? Which one is the best for Skyblock? Which one is the best for cosmetics? All of that stuff is going to be covered in today's video. But before we continue into talking about each of these clients and loading them up to see what they're like, Please subscribe if you haven't already. This video took a lot of time to make because I obviously had to get every single client loaded up and running. So please subscribe if you haven't already to help us get to YouTube rank, which maybe by the time you're watching this, I have YouTube rank, but probably not. So Bad Lion Client, which is what I'm using right now. I personally don't use Bad Lion Client, but I know a lot of the largest Skyblock creators do. So Bad Lion has good overall mods, I guess. Like they've got a lot of mods like this, but for Skyblock, they sort of only have one option, and it's not that great. It's got a lot of things, and it's definitely gotten better in recent times, but it's nothing like what you get with full customization with some of the other clients. Does give you a lot of choice, but is definitely not the best. They've got decent FPS boosting, and a lot of creators' cosmetics, which is a big reason that a lot of people use the client because their favorite creator is using it, but they do have a little bit of a sketchy past, including some controversies around their owner and them stealing mods from developers without asking permission, but overall a decent client. Next, we're going to talk about Sky Client, which is my daily driver client. It lets you personally customize every single mod you want, choosing from a ton of mods that you get to pick right from the start. You get to select all the mods you want, and you can go back and add more later, or never again. They also come preloaded with a bunch of the best Hypixel Skyblock texture packs, which is also really helpful for a completely seamless experience. However, it does have a bit of a steeper learning curve in comparison to other mods, as you have to download it off of GitHub, which can be slightly confusing for some players. It also has a smaller support team, because it's not making revenue like these other clients, so they don't have a way to guarantee that your questions will be answered. They also have bad to no cosmetic support and little to no FPS boost. In fact, I get less FPS than I would get on another client using Sky Client, probably due to all of the Forge mods. But it is worth it for customizability and is still easier to install than physically installing each and every Forge mod like we're going to talk about in the later clients. But first, today's video is sponsored by Tinker Island 2. You join three survivors on a deserted island. To survive, you need to start a fireplace, build a camp, upgrade buildings, and build your village. You manage resources, harvest food, collect stone, fight monsters, craft tools and weapons, investigate the plane crash that got you on this deserted island in the first place, and you get to discover the village and its locals. With over 50 unique locations and storylines, there's a lot of mysteries to discover on the island, including some aliens, and you're going to need to pick a side, whether it's the aliens or the citizens of the island. And for your final task, you need to fight your way across the island to the grand finale in the volcano. So download Tinker Island 2 using the link down in the description today on the App Store or Google Play Store. Thank you so much to Tinker Island 2 for sponsoring today's video, and let's get back to the best clients for Hypixel Skyblock. Next up is going to be Lunar Client. Lunar Client has excellent FPS boosting, and it is by far one of the best FPS boosts of any of the mods I've showcased in today's video. It has a few of the larger creators' cosmetics, but not as big a selection as Bad Line, although that may change in the future. But, unfortunately, it has horrible Skyblock mod selection. If you've got a bad computer and need the FPS boost, then it is a good choice. But it only features Skyblock add-ons and not even a full version. So it's up to you whether sacrificing the rest of the Skyblock mods is worth it to use Lunar Client. One thing I noticed is that they are slower to launch than some of the other clients I have tried out in this video, which is unfortunate because once you launch it, it's a very, very fast client. But I don't think their launcher should be weighing them down. Overall, it's an incredibly clean client, it looks very smooth, and it will boost your FPS a lot. However, if you're a hardcore Skyblock player, it may not be what you're looking for. Next one up is Feather Client. Feather Client has the second best FPS boosting of all the mods I've shown today. It currently has a very few cosmetic options, which is not great. But it lets you select a lot of Skyblock mods. As you can see right now, I'm using APEC, I've got Skyblock add-ons, I've got Bizarre Notifier, all the things like that. And you can even add your own mods with custom folders. They've also got a lot of customization options, including color customization. However, they did have their share of scandals, specifically one where they were getting mods without their developer's permission. But that has since been resolved. Unfortunately, it's also a paid client for now but it is going to become not whitelisted in the future, so it is a good client to have on your radar. 
So up next is Forge with Essential. Forge with Essential is a decent mod pack. It comes with mediocre FPS boost through the Skier mod suite, which is decent, but is not great. It has a large and active support base for Essential, which is very nice. And you get to choose whichever mods you want by just putting them in your mods folder. It is a good support base for just a Forge instance, but it doesn't have all the same features that a actual client would have. But they do have decent cosmetic selections for how new they are. You could also just use Optifine, but personally it's a little bit too basic and it doesn't even provide good features. If you're looking for something that just boosts FPS, I would highly recommend just getting Lunar Client and disabling all of the other mod features. Because it's going to give you a better FPS boost than Optifine. Optifine is not really the greatest FPS boosting mod right now, especially for 1.8.9, and there's a lot of better options, so I highly recommend you check them out. Especially since, of course, it has no scadlock features either. And now that you've chosen a client, you're going to want some texture packs, so click the button on screen now to see the best texture packs for Axel Scadlock. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye!